Shikari Richardson, Shikari Richardson, banned today of being in the Olympics. If you didn't know, she pretty much was the fastest woman in the world uh, during the Olympic trials. I think she ran like a 10-7-1, which is amazing. And people was basically thinking uh, when she get to the Olympics, maybe she'll um, she'll break Flojo's record because she actually is really one that has actually come close to doing that. But she tested positive for marijuana in the Olympic trials. Now, men, you know, men, we, we know without a shadow of a doubt that we can't make excuses, no excuses, no explanations, rules are rules, you know, but somehow we're not created equal when it comes to, you know, dealing, you know, with men and women, because, you know, people are saying, you know, I'll oh, give her a pass. She was mourning her, her, the death of her biological mother. And when they said the death of her biological mother, then she, she wasn't raised by a biological mother. But I've had conversations sidebar and it was unanimous. She basically got caught. You know, if you got tattoos, if you got piercings, if you got the, the colored wig, if you got the stripper kit, you know, looking like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, looking like the strippers in the strip club, you smoke weed and you've been smoking weed. And they basically they seen the THC levels in your system. But the USA decided not to do anything. But when it came to getting to that next elite level, that's what they do. They go ahead and trip you up you know, at your highest moment. So, you know, I love you, young sister, but at the end of the day, you know, you, you rules are rules. But today was uh, the day where they actually said that she will not be participating because it was a 30 day ban. And it looks like that, she, you know, she probably could have been on the relay teams or something like that. But they already had the relay teams um, they already had marked out. So they would have had to drop somebody. So somebody would have had to get dropped from the relay team because of her mishap or her mistake. But see, everything has consequences. So, and, you know, and, 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 it's, and it's okay that, you know, we're giving her a pass because, you know, brothers, you know, being suspended for the National Football League, NBA for smoking weed, and then you turn on first take and watch Stephen A. Smith, they getting clowned. All of this because you can't put down the weed. But for her, oh, we, she was just mourning, you know, the death. No, no, no. She's a weed smoker. You know, you don't just start smoking weed. You know, when you become an elite, elite athlete, because the paranoia probably would stop you from doing it. So you've been smoking weed for a minute past the paranoia stage months ago. And now you smoking that 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 good uh, 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 sativa and it's getting you to focus and getting you to do what you need to do. It's not performance enhancement. It's not going to make you be faster like steroids, but, you know, it, it will block out. You know, some of that negativity to, to, to help you focus, you know, it will block out some of that negativity. So by her being banned, she won't be participating. But it, it's 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 you know, I think that they need to, you know, look at that rule and uh, maybe change it since marijuana is legal in 17 states, including Louisiana, the state where she ran track for uh, LSU.